I'm back! Bluntly! Down on the ground. One is you need to do everything local, even if you think globally. It means that you don't have to have a network strategy. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. growth be considered as a panacea concerning a development. Economic growth in the Congo is on the paper, but it's not the reality. This is um, evidence especially among students before graduating, you can see... It may be strong, but people are dealing with it. This is the problem. Or white people are not it. Bluntly, we have an issue on Bradley. From time immemorial, nobody has eaten homelet without bringing eggs. That's why we must abolish our economic strategies in order to skyrocket. Do you have any ideas about economic development and welfare? Join us in this program. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Keep in touch. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the program. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Everything is unequivocally under control. This program, you can see this blunt is going to be mesmerizing with a particular emphasis on something absolutely vital. It's going to scrutinize good va ga governance. You know, something absolutely vital to move the Democratic Republic of Congo forward. Without further delay, I would like to introduce my guest to you. The first one is Patricia. Hello, Patricia. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah, Patricia you. Kalambai. That's your name. Yes, sir. You are Chief Executive Officer of Zwa Congo. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Yeah, you're from Canada. Yes, I Yeah, am. good. Would you have a seat? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much. Justin Kandolo. Hello, Jason. Hello. How are you doing for the first time on the new program? Yes. I'm delighted to have you. I'm delighted you to know, here. You are still in the cancer treatment in yes, Canada, in yes. Ottawa. Yes. I like it. Thank you. Do you have a seat? Okay. And we have uh, Maggie Mukiri. Hi. Hello, Maggie. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. You are a good governance consultant. Yes. The Democratic Republic of Congo from London. Yes. Good. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Everything is definitely under control of this program. I'm delighted, you know, as we're talking about good governance in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Don't forget that Bluntly is the only Congolese broadcast where you can find joy, hope, and inspiration for a better future. Bluntly is doubtless reaching the cruising altitude, but what's going on about good governance? Find out! Good governance at all levels is fundamental to economic growth, political stability, and security. The Democratic Republic of Congo works to tackle many aspects of weak governance, including corruption and money laundering, and to promote full respect of the rule of law, increase transparency, and develop effective legislation as a foundation of a functioning state. Promoting good governance and combating corruption, money laundering, and the financing of terrorism are among the key activities of the upcoming government. These activities are based on the declarations and strengthening good governance and combating corruption, money laundering, and the financing of terrorism. The head of state, Felix Chisekedi, actively supports the national reforms and transparency initiatives, as well as the development and implementation of more effective anti-corruption policies and mechanisms to help participating states in achieving good economic governance, creating robust anti-money laundering regime, a solid ethics, infrastructure, structures and sound financial and resource management. Good. Yeah, I'd like to start with uh, Patricia Kalambai. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, How are you? I'd like to start from, yeah, I'm good. Uh, are you willing to speak bluntly here? Absolutely. Yes, and uh, we have to start from scratch. First and uh, I would like to know what's the meaning of good governance in our understanding, what does good governance mean? Well, it's um, somewhat uh, broad. Um, I believe good governance is um, equal opportunity yes. um, for everybody. And I also understand it to be uh, politically correct so that everybody can um, exert and say what they mean yeah. uh, without being constrained or being... Um, attacked for their opinions it also uh the governance of the country how the country is run yes the right way um when it comes to laws when it comes to security when it comes to health and also the well-being of the country that's how i understand yeah, but in africa in general and in the drc in particular good governance it's still like a simple nightmare 
it's not a reality mostly when it comes to democracy. Is it possible to talk about good governance in a country where democracy is not yet a reality? I believe it's possible because that's that's the 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 way of the new government. I believe yeah. uh, the, the this change that's happening yeah. with uh, the new wind, the shift to um, a better way of life, a better way of doing politics, yeah. a better way of doing business, a better way of medical treatment. So all yeah. these things are possible. Yes, we are a very new into the concept. But I understand that with that, um, a lot of information and change of, uh, what do you call this, mentality, we should definitely get there. We will get there surely. Yeah, good governance in a country like the DRC, a very poor country. What, what's uh, the reason why the country is not moving forward? Well, it is governance, of course. Um, so I believe that we have to prioritize. Yes. Um, the country is poor in mothers of economy speaking yes. but when we talk about resources we are immensely rich we have everything yes. anything can grow here you find any minerals um, that you can possibly think or not think of potentially in this country or theoretically potentially rich but we, we are, are poor in and that's where good governance come because yes. the everything that we generate is not coming back to the country to make sure that the country goes forward. So we yeah, have in to terms make of sure ideas, of pillars, when we talk about good governance, what should we refer to? Education. Yes. The first thing comes to mind is education yeah. and um, better laws, enforcement of laws, because yes. the laws are there. Yes. They have to be, to be enforced. enforced. Absolutely. Um, so we also see, I see education, because education is the key. Yeah. Um, if you educate the kids the right way, they are going to be the future yeah, directors, yeah. CEOs, and entrepreneurs, and politican, political people, yeah. politicians. So if you do not prepare the future, you cannot expect expect yeah. a certain future without you can't go to war without preparing yeah, but honestly or bluntly speaking do yes. our current leaders inspire much confidence in terms of their way of running the country are you well, sure we that they're to going wait. to drive it uh, really forward we have to wait and see it's <laughs> yeah. brand new it's yeah. brand new we have to admit it's yeah. uh, what four months i believe so we have to wait and see but from uh, uh, the vision that yes. I've, uh, I've i've had uh, privilege of reading yes. and also certain people have have a privilege of meeting yeah. we uh, I see there's hope and where there's hope there's always a way yeah yes. where there is a will there is a way there is a will and there is a way yeah, and, and there's hope you need hope there's a you, lot you of hope glimmer of hope with this, the new regime we have a new president new Absolutely. prime minister we're going to have a new cabinet and you Absolutely. think that that's all it's a panacea I'm, for you I am confident I, yeah. I feel great about it yeah uh, I would like to you know just in how are you? I'm yeah. bad, thank uh, you. Leadership is always about making marriage better. But yes. In Congo, we do the opposite. And in Africa in general, but the DRC is like head quarry of anti values. You know, I'm just you know, uh, <laughs> talking about uh, you know, the population, you know, the Congolese population way of seeing it. Uh, I would like to know is it possible in a country where you know, anti values have become a reality to change the situation it is and uh, make things happen? It is always possible. Yeah. If we're able to eliminate corruption, able to enforce laws, yeah. um, there are people with energy and will. Yeah. And uh, we have good connections and we have people that could help us go forward. Yeah. So le leadership is important and we will yeah. be able to do that with, like we said, education, knowledge and hard work. Yeah. Um, so it's all about coming together and making it happen. What is it lacking right now in terms of leadership? Is it uh, poor leadership? Is it really... We have competent people among our rulers. Absolutely. Uh, it's Who can get things done quickly. Absolutely. It's, yes, there is not enough opportunities or um, just we're lacking leadership in the sense that... Uh, <laughs> your country, because you have been living in Canada, now you are in the Democratic Republic. Yes. If you have to share with us your experience from Canada, do you see the, the same leadership? No, absolutely yeah. not. In absolutely Canada, not. Yeah. Um, so we enforce a lot of laws, yes. right? And Good governance is a reality. There is no it's problem. Not Everything perfect. is yeah, perfect. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But uh, we, we see a lot of laws are enforced and um, people work hard. Yeah. Uh, we make sure that the people come first also. So yes. uh, there's 
that also that's missing a little bit. Human beings are taken very seriously. We are. We have human rights, and yes. the people come first. Yeah. So uh, I, I see a lot of a lot of opportunities are missing here. Um, you can't make it as far if you are not connected well, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of work is lacking. A lot of kids, and we just need. Yeah. What, what should be done in Congo in terms of you know what's your contribution? Because you are Our here contribution. about okay, to so build the governance so that the country you know can move forward. Um, basically, the way we see it is yeah. we abroad we learn a lot about Congo, right? Yeah. We understand that um, we're told that a lot of the countries abroad are built off the backs of Africa. Good, right? Mm -hmm. So um, us over there, we are trying to come here, and yes. whatever they took from us, our resources. Yes. Um, we will learn their knowledge. We have studied abroad. Yes. And um, everything we've learned over here, we will come and bring our leadership and bring our effort and everything that we have learned abroad. But do you feel like there are a lot of obstacles, you know? Obstacles there is in the a lot face of, of uh, There is a the lot population. of obstacles. There is politics that's a little bit Yeah, <laughs> politics, yeah. In um, a very bad way. Uh, absolutely. So in order to understand the country, Yeah. Uh, understand how it works, how we can infiltrate and help and... Yeah. Uh, and the DRC, uh, compared with other African countries, surrounding countries, uh, about good governance, it looks like we are a little bit behind. We yeah. we are a little bit behind. We have lived we a few... Moving slowly, slowly. We What's have, going on? Uh, we have lived a few decades of uh, governance that wasn't always ideal. Yes. Um, so we just need order. Yes. Right. Um, we need democracy. We yes. need openness. Yes. Um, we need to be able to communicate and accountability. Accountability. Yes. People come forward and uh, listen. Women of power yes. and um, young people who have energy and will and yes. hope to come yes. make a difference. We have brainy people in this country who can uh, do Absolutely. Things exactly. So it's yes. about giving. Like you. Uh, mm -hmm. Very shortly, you're going to be among uh, ministers. Absolutely. So yeah. <laughs> are you partition? Are you Not willing yet. to work as I, I one am, day? If I you am are? willing. Good. So when I'm finished my education, it's all about coming back here and investing in our country. Yeah, we because need investors this is, here. Exactly, this is entrepreneurs, our land. Startups, things like and, that. And 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 it, um, in order to create jobs for other people. A new Congo. We Absolutely. Need a new Congo. So recreate create opportunities and yeah. recreate it and uh, yeah. give opportunities Good. to those who I'm don't. amazed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Mokini, how are you? Okay. Yeah, politics in Congo is uh, undeniably looking, you know, it's like uh, disgusting, you know. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the politics, <coughs> you know, people are upset because politicians are uh, bringing the country down. They're not mm -hmm. working properly to make mm -hmm. good government work mm -hmm. in this country. What should be done? To solve that problem. Well, first of all, I agree with what you've just said because one of the key pillars of the governance yes. is the political culture. Yeah. And the political culture in the DRC is really bad. Yeah. It's really bad in all ways. Uh, so as long as we don't clean that up, we're going to have serious trouble moving ahead yeah. with that kind of political class. Because we're actually dealing with politicians like some, sometimes are just like vultures. Yeah, vultures. <laughs> I think that's, that's is the it word. an insult? Um, <laughs> it's not an insult. I think it vouches in the terms of instead of looking at meeting the needs of a population, yeah. they're looking at meeting their own needs. And themselves. So that's why I'm, t I'm talking about and vouchers. Very selfish. That's very really selfish. Extremely yeah. selfish. And as long as it is like that, it's going to be very difficult to attain good governance in the DRC. But right now, as we have a new leadership, a new regime, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, led by the president, mm -hmm. Jisekedi mm -hmm. Chilom, mm -hmm. do you have a glimmer of hope that things are going to change? Oh, very much. Yes. Very much. I I think there are signals that he has sent um, yes. so far. You know, voice and accountability is, a, is one of the key pillars of good governance. Yes. I think for the first time, I think we, we talked about it last time, yes. uh, we used to have demonstrations here where you, we, we had tear gas yeah. being fired. And for the first time, we have a regime where we don't have tear gas that being fired. Yeah, I see. Uh, you know, freedom of expression is actually being allowed properly. Absolutely. It's not a semblance of freedom of expression. It's actually being allowed But a real freedom of speech. Yes, real freedom of speech. And it's a big step. So for me, those are signals that need to be taken seriously. Good. And we have to upload them. But without interrupting, the mm -hmm. president uh, said last time he's going to unbalt, let me use that word, mm -hmm. you know, uh, FCC mm -hmm. uh, political mm -hmm. leaders. Mm -hmm. But Apparently, they are being balted. Well, no, let's not uh, judge to... The boulonage. Where is it? I, I, uh, I can't see anything. First of all, the boulonage is... Predators are still working. No, when you live in a place where 
all these bad things have become systemized. Yes. It has to be a process. You can't just wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I'm sucking everybody. Because at the end of the day, we like them, we don't like them, they have the experience somehow. Yes. So it's going to take him some time. But if but they are rotten, you have to get rid of them. Well, well definitely. I mean, yeah. those ones, uh, we, look at, we look at those ones. But at the same time, I think he yeah. has started in a very subtle way. Yes. Because I think he's a person who operates... Um, Do you think that Shekhar is going to be pragmatic? I think he's being pragmatic already, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's being pragmatic. Yeah. Because he's, 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 he has come in realizing that he has to uh, untangle the system yes. and it's going to be a process. And for me, that's a realism. He, he never came in and said, you know what, tomorrow you guys are going to have salaries that are going to be $4,000, yeah. this kind of thing. No. So he, he's, a rea he's, very, realist, good. Uh, he's realistic. a very realistic person. Good. And I think that's, uh, that's something very good for the DRC. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Everything is undeniably under control. This program delighted. My guests are really knowledgeable. I have a governance expert here, a consultant, and uh, uh, two women from Canada, very brainy. We have, you know, women in Congo. We have too many of them, and uh, those from Canada are smart. They know everything about good governance. I'm delighted. As the saying goes, quote, don't teach your grandmother to suck eggs, unquote. From time immemorial, nobody has eaten omelette without breaking eggs. That's why we must polish up economic strategies in order to skyrocket. Do you have any ideas about economic development and well being? Join us in this program. That's our motto, our slogan. Stick around as usual. We'll be back after the break. Find out! I'm back! Bluntly! Uh, down on the ground. One is you need to do everything local even if you think globally. It means that you don't have to have a network strategy. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. growth be considered as a panacea concerning a development. Economic growth in the Congo is on the paper, but it's not the reality. There is uh, evidence, especially among students, before graduating, you can see... It may be strong, but people are dealing with it. This is the problem. Or white people are not it. Bluntly, we even say your brother. From time immemorial, nobody has eaten homelet without bringing eggs. That's why we have to polish up economic strategies in order to skyrocket. Do you have any ideas about economic development and welfare? Join us in this program. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Keep in touch. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Bluntly is well done. Bluntly is very nice. In DRC, bluntly is an obligation. Bluntly is exciting. Bluntly is my passion. Wherever you are, what's bluntly? Bluntly with an Italian Romania. Sing to Bluntly. English is the reality in DRC. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Good. Yeah, I'm back. This uh, second segment of the program is about uh, good governance, but we have a link. Uh, I would like to, to link good governance with women empowerment. Something very good. I think that women in this country uh, must play a significant role so that the country can uh, definitely move forward. And I, I would like to know, among uh, good governance pillars, we have something I call inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, women have to be, to get in politics mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, be positioned. You have to position yourself instead of just, uh, you know, uh, complaining from sunrise to sunset. You have to do something because they want to bring your power on the table. You have to do something. Are you willing to to operate from now on? Well, absolutely. Um, you, you have been talking about parity, parity. You have to yes. make it possible. Um, I guess we are not. Um, women, we have a different way of seeing things. Yes. I believe um, God has given us a special way, not to say that we are better than men, but we yeah. have a different way of seeing things. Yeah. We usually see things in communities. So usually when a woman has a position of power, she's always looking into how um, to empower yes. the community itself yes. and how to make it work. We are not um, going to deny here that the last 20 years, this country has been maintained yeah. economically mm -hmm. by women. So 
these small women the, not small women i find those are the heroes like uh, miss maggie said earlier when we were discussing these yeah. are the heroes of the congo the they made sure that kids went to school by selling water by selling charcoal by selling rice by selling um, commonly fufu they so these are the women that constructed yeah. um these most men you yeah. hear those stories the minister they'll tell you that my mom sold i don't know um food so that i mm -hmm. could be here she had to go to a store and she had to work with somebody's uh, uh, clean somebody's yeah. house yeah. so that i can be who i am today yeah. so they made sure that this country did not lock people of power yes. now the only thing is that women are in power what i deplore yes. is that there is a lot of powerful women in congo good but they don't use their power to um to actually show what they are Do they capable. have to empower themselves or you think that the we men have, have to, to empower new, them? We have to find new ways. I, yes. I, I completely think we have to find new strategy on how to bring more women in politics. Yeah. There is women in politics, but the reality in politics is very, very, very harsh. Politics is very, very harsh, especially yeah. um, culturally. Because women, the, the, some of the women, us that are in business, yes. and very strongly opinionated they face a lot of challenges and uh, yes because when you are a smart woman uh, you are an intelligent woman yes. and then automatically it, you are categorized as a you, woman you become that even is like not, an obstacle exactly you become yeah. an obstacle competence is an obstacle it, in congo yeah. for women <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, for women <laughs> for a certain certain way yes. but also with the new government um I, I did have the privilege of meeting uh, Mr. President when he came to Canada, yeah. and he made sure uh, I asked the question: Where is where are you putting youth and women? Yes. Because all every every legislation that came, yeah. they didn't put that. They put it on paper again yeah. once. Yes. On paper, we are equal. Yeah. But it, when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to I think until 2016 in this yeah. country, women still could not open a bank account without having a husband's permission. Good. So we are coming from far. We need to fight a little bit more. Yeah, to just make a small question. Yes. Yeah, without uh, you know uh, making you upset, you have just said over the. Last years, last decades, women have been playing a significant role in terms of uh, uh, looking after their families. Yes. But in the Congo, men always think that women prostitute themselves. Do you agree with them? That's not true. <laughs> That's, That's not true. true. That's <laughs> not true. And you already are going to deny. Well, I'm not <laughs> denying. There is, yeah. uh, 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 what do you call it? It's, it's a Every, Whether or not every, women every, prostitute themselves Every situation here. creates a need and a need has to be met. Yes. What does it mean? So, the way the country was run, yes. women had to find alternative. Alternative. That's why they have to prostitute to themselves? No, 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 no. I'm yes. not talking about prostitution. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm talking about um, yes. survival. Survival. I don't see it that way. I see yeah. it as a survival that has been created by men. And prostitution is also one of the main uh, who uses ways the of surviving in the DRC. Who uses the services? You have to answer questions. Here. <laughs> I don't answer questions. I'm a journalist. I am asking questions. <laughs> who uses the services? Yes. So it's, it's, it's um, and again, prostitution is everywhere. Yes. Prostitution is everywhere. Yes. Um, in in some countries, it's even legal. It's actually a job legal, where yeah. you get like Congo, you get paid legal. and you get taxes and all that, which I do not encourage. But Good. women here, I would like to stay focused on those women that. Um, go to hardship right. and make sure that they wake up in the morning to go get bread yeah. so that they can sell those bread so that they can sell the send the kids to school yeah those women that work up in the morning because they have to go buy oil and then they have to sell it back in the community Good. they buy salt and yeah. these are the women that i'm talking about wonderful so those are the strong and heroes that we're talking Good. about amazing jason yes and uh, no women in congo even men think that you don't love each other you know, I'm talking about women who are very suspicious towards yourself. That's why you, you know, standing back instead of moving forward. I, I don't agree. 
Um, in you do not agree with me I do, today I do not about agree. women. No, issues. not at all. <laughs> yeah. in, in Canada, we have a Congolese Women Association where yes. we build just on empowering women, yes. making sure that we come together. We have brilliant women. We have lawyers, doctors, um, businesswomen, nurses. So we understand that we can't move forward without community. Yes. It's all about helping each other. So there are many women who have love for other women. Yes. It's all based on that. A lot yes. of women are willing to work together. Now you, you usually pl uh, you know, uh, promise things. You pledge, but you do not deliver in terms of working together and contribute to the development of the country. And that's not true. Uh, so that uh, good governance can really be <laughs> that, effective. That's not true. That is our aim, goal, and that is what we will do. Yeah. So, uh, women. I'm talking about politics. Do women deliver in political teams? Of course, in they economic do. teams. In of this course, country? they do. Of course, they do. Uh, we yeah. have women in politics right now and in the presidency, yes. and they're working hard. And sometimes it's not easy. It's a small minority. It is a minority because maybe we don't uh, women's rights here, um, or we don't have opportunities to. Yeah. Do we live in a country where to we are ready? To emerge in Congo as a woman, there are conditions. Exactly. Are a we, lot of challenges. Is this country ready to have a woman and president one day? Exactly. <laughs> yes. So it's about creating opportunities for us because there are brilliant women who have amazing yeah. ideas. Yeah. But sometimes we are a little bit put back by men yeah. who think we're not ready or who think we're emotional. But we have so much power and so yeah. much will to do so. Yeah, women, you are, the, you know, the majority of uh, the population in Congo, Absolutely. but it's about relevance, it's about competence, about what you can do. Uh, the number is not, but even a party we have been, you know, claiming will become a reality if you fight. Mm -hmm. But so far, it looks like you, you haven't even yet started. Oh, we have started. That's there not are. True. That's not true. <laughs> That's not Women true. are fighting every day. Are you guys letting us come in? Yes. You know, and we're fighting to push through, and that's what we'll do. Yes. So we'll take it by force. We'll come in, and uh, rather men are happy with it or not, not. Yeah. we'll make it possible. But the fight is far from over. It's far from over. We'll always be fighting. Yes. So women Only of power starting. exists. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Only it uh, just started Only the starting. fight. Are you sure? Yes. yes. And uh, where and when did it start? Describe well, to the all, viewers I, who are watching I'd, I'd blindly. Like to go back to the legal How does framework. it happen? You yes. know, one one thing that I find extremely uh, worrying yes. is the fact that we have laws that actually are supposed to be promoting women yes. empowerment yes. Uh, and participation into all spheres. Yes. But those laws are not enforced. Yes. Fact. Good. Second fact is we actually have laws that contradict each other we when are. it comes to promoting women. I'll give an yeah. example. Could we have countless laws know? in this country. Yes, we do, but they have to be enforced. Yes. Can I just give an example when I'm talking about laws that are actually contradicting each other when it comes to women empowerment? Yeah. You know the, the parity law? Yes. We have a law or a parity law here that's yeah. supposed to promote that. The parity law uh, says in one of the articles that uh, for example, when, when there are elections, the political parties are supposed to have a quota of women yes. on their list, otherwise the list is not going to be accepted. Absolutely. Yes. And then, when the electoral law was changed, yes. you know what was actually put in there? Yeah. It said it doesn't matter. Even That's if right. the, there, there are no women on the list, yeah. the list can actually be accepted. Yes. So for me, I go back again to saying that the fight is only starting seriously. I'll give another example. You know, the first lady um, has just had the, the foundation. She's yeah, the foundation. foundation. And I love the vision of that foundation. Why is she in a hurry? She has just started. A foundation already? Why not? Because Why not? Uh, she has already if she, money? If she waits too long, we're going to say she waited too long. So I love her vision because her vision didn't say, you know what? We're gonna take women. We're gonna we, we're gonna build women up. We're gonna build their capacities. No, she actually went higher. She said, "Let's get stronger, stronger women." Yeah. And when you say stronger, that means you're recognizing that they yes. were already strong. Already strong. Yes. And I love that. Yes. So for me, when I saw that vision, I said, "The fight has started now, seriously." But the capacity building is also important. I think she must uh, men and emphasize women. men and women. Men and women. Men and women. I yes. think something that uh, Justin uh, said earlier. She said she's she, sometimes when she she, watch, she watches TV, yes. she sees people in very high positions, and when they speak French, you actually you know, wonder, did they actually They gobble. So, yeah, so, so <laughs> the, the problem is not just with women. When yes. it's with women, you guys notice. Yes. But we have yeah. problems with, with men, men also. who cannot speak but properly. the fight is starting now, and I think it's going to get somewhere. Yeah, me, I always ask sometimes hard questions. Because yeah, we have, no problem. you know, pointed out something about uh, the first lady. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Health doesn't mm -hmm. have means. The Ministry of Social Affairs doesn't have means. How can, you know... The, 
the wife of the head of state, you know, the first lady can, you know, just after three months, she has a foundation with uh, millions. But Where did know, she get money? You, you know what happened? Where is the prosecutor no, 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 to, no, no, to no. check and uh, Mr. You know, Mr. I think find we, out what's going on? We need to be fair. Yeah. Do you know what happened? Bluntly she speaking. Raised, bluntly speaking. Yeah. She raised funds. She raised funds? When she, ra when she, she, when she funds. launched the foundation, mm. that's when she raised she funds. funds. Yeah. She sold, I think, to... Uh, out of uh, okay. influence peddling. You know what? In if that can bring our young girls <laughs> yes. to become <laughs> ladies that can co contribute to the DRC's development, yes. let it be. Yes. Because for me, that's an action that actually can actually be Is that good governance? The, the, the first lady, money, just after three months? Is it good governance? I, I she she raised the funds, as you are saying. Why not? I mean, show me a law that says she cannot. Because she didn't raise the money for herself. She raised yes. the money to, uh, to be on the ground, yes. to do something. Because if she doesn't do anything, we know our society. We're going to mm -hmm. say she's not, she's not doing she's anything. Not yes. But for me, it's a start. I love the fact that she's talking about stronger, yes. not women becoming strong. Yes. And that's a, a very good circle from which you can actually build yeah. the next step of our fight. And uh, what is going to happen very shortly, the cabinet reshuffle, yes. I think, in a, a few days. Yes. Do you think that we're going to have even 30% of women among ministers? I want for President Shekidi to surprise us. Are you on the list? Once more. You know me, I don't like Are you on the list? No. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> because <laughs> yes. I, I want, I want, you know, he's yeah. doing things so differently. Yeah. That if I you believe. are disappointed after the cabinet to what will happen if you don't have many women on the list? I think... I'm going to be very disappointed. Among the most competent. Or we'll have some uh, ladies or women who are not competent. I, th I think it's going to be it's yeah. going to be a big disappointment because and the journalists will criticize will ask strong questions you know hard yeah, questions yeah, yeah but for me yeah. remember what i said last time we haven't made the effort of looking properly of head hunting mm -hmm. women that are actually qualified yes. Yes. there are qualified yes. the highly competent congolese yes. women she's yeah. talked about nurses she's yes. talked about doctors she's talked, yes. i mean Name it, yes. we're there. If we make the effort of even head hunting, yes. if it's a cabinet that's going to have 50 ministers, yes. are we sure that if we look for five, uh, 25 competent women, we're not going to find them, we're going to find them. them. And, and this uh, is why yeah, I, can, I, want, I have a free already. You know, this is competent. why I want President Chitekedi yes. to show to that. women. Yes. Good. Yes, women. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Everything is definitely under control in this program. I'm really delighted, Chris Blanty, you know, really interesting as we're talking about good governance and women empowerment in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I think that the president is watching blindly and what we're talking about here is not like a voice crying in the wilderness. You know, in addition to bluntly, don't forget that we have another program, you know, TV program called Newscast. Newscast is also a golden opportunity to express yourself without impedimenta. Stick around there, you'll be back after the break. Don't change channels. Find out. From now on, English program has become mandatory on television. Watch Newscast and you will be knowledgeable. Newscast with Anise Yomboranya. Newscast with Anise Yomboranya. Thanks for watching and goodbye from King Charles. Keep in touch. Good. Yeah, we're going to end the program. This is the last segment, the very last segment, and it's about mindset. Mindset regarding, you know, good governance, women empowerment. You know, we have to both of them. And I like to know: Do you think that psychologically speaking, Congolese are really eager to face current challenges, or they are not yet mature enough? We are. Um, are you mature enough? Politically, I think, economically, I think, I think socially, yes, absolutely, we technologically, are. and so on and so forth. Well, we do have to define ready. Yes. yes. We have to define ready because um, when you talk about readiness, we are ready. Yes. Like um, Justine said, and Miss Maggie printed, they, they actually pointed earlier, yes. it's not the fact that we were not strong before. Mm -hmm. yes. We were strong, but it's how we were actually using yeah. our power and her strength yeah. like she said right now 
the mindset has yeah. to change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The mentality has to change. Yeah. For so long, we've been told that you cannot do this because you are nobody. But now, everybody has to get the opportunity and have, everybody has to change He's the way they see it. things. Yes. So you cannot think of... Um, the, I, I, I really deplore when somebody But we gets, should provide the impetus. We need somebody who can show the way forward so that things can happen. We do. Plenty. We have yes. plenty of Whether people. or not the and leadership or the that is your job. Know, to show the way forward. That is your job. Because My job as is a, a journalist. As a journalist, without me, what you do, do you think it's possible? Um, I'm talking about the journalist, not the man. As the, the man. journalist, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> as the journalist, yes. it's your job to get people here yes. that would Take pe- that will take the population yes. to that mindset Good. to advocate. We have to have campaigns. We have to An have awareness um, campaign. We have Which campaigns. We yes. have to have campaigns. Yes. We have to have um, programs in schools. We have yes. uh, to bring back um, civism in school. Yes. Kids needs to be that. I shouldn't be throwing things on us. We have things. to revalue instead of you uh, using everything that is coming from you know Western countries. We, we are we, really colonized. We I am against that. I'm yeah. completely against that because yeah. I think we are rich even in culture. Mm-hmm. The way we live, because in, in our culture, when, when I have something to eat, that means it, three or four people can eat at the same time. Yeah. But, it, but in Western country, you will go some places, even at friend's house, they're having dinner and they give you a remote control yeah. so that you can watch TV while they're eating because they did not count you when they were cooking. Yeah. So it's different. <laughs> oh my See, it's, it's, it's solidarity. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, and solidarity, yeah. it's yeah. power. Solidarity yeah. is power. Yeah. But also we have to say, like this foundation, like I have to go back to that. Yeah. I think it's very prompt for a first lady Lady, to have a fight. Yeah. Everywhere you go in the world, you will have a fight. Michelle Obama's fight was obesity. Yeah. Uh, women uh, education. And I believe uh, the last uh, first lady also was into uh, health and education yeah, and all. Anything. So it is, it, it's important for the first lady to start early. Good. I, I actually think it's late. She should have yeah, started, she has started earlier. Yeah, so just a simple speech and, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. In and Congo, sometimes much ado about nothing. People always speak in Congo, they have no, good speeches. No, but you have to give but her a chance. There is nothing, you know, tangible into co- concrete terms. The, the foundation problem. is when less is than a week. Start? in concrete terms. But it's less than a week, so yeah. you have to give her time. Yeah. She yeah. was able to raise six hundred thousand yeah. dollars in one day. Do you, do you remember know, since some of the regime we always speak very well in a Congo. Yes, but yeah. we have also that is also mind change. Yes. You have to set your mind that we are moving forward, we are doing things differently. Yes. Because if you keep being pessimistic, then yeah. you will never see the future. Good. Nobody is pessimistic. I think all of us are <laughs> optimistic. So Absolutely. Can, can forward. Absolutely. Now, I would like to know something very important right in right now. Yes. In the Congo, uh, our mentality looks like we still think of uh, Bretton Woods institutions, you know, backing, financially speaking. We always, like last time, I saw the president receiving the, foreign, uh, the French uh, foreign minister, and it was about three, uh, I think, thousand or hundred thousand you know, dollars. It's nothing for this country. It's even laughable. Can it be really broadcast on TV and the state television, you know, losing time like that? Do you agree with them? Well, I th- every, every president have a different way of communicating what they're doing. Yes. I am pretty sure that in, in their agenda, they have a reason why yeah. they had uh, chosen to yes. communicate that sp- somewhat yeah. low yeah. Uh, number. $300 million, dollars. it's nothing for this country about education. But it is, it and is, so on it is so nothing, forth. but we do not have it yet. <laughs> yes. So it, it's, it's one thing to be a potential rich, potentially rich country and, and actually really being rich. a rich country. Yes, so we have to, we do have to make that difference. Good. So 300 million, it, it's, it's, it's small, yes. but it could do a lot of things to make us even bigger. Good. Economically speaking. Mindset, mindset, and mindset yes. again. Nothing right will happen to Congolese people if we are not organized, if we don't think properly, if psychologically speaking, we are not ready in terms of the best way of implementing policies so that we can move the country forward. Uh, apparently, we are still far away from the reality. It's possible that we're far, but we have a lot of youth that are willing to work hard. Yes. The thing about the youth is that we have energy, we yes. have will. Let's say I don't have any husband or kids yes. dedicating years to my life yes. to help build the country. And um, 
I, I grew up abroad, right? Yes. Um, and what I have learned there, everything they have taught me, I want to bring back here. Yeah. So it is our goal. You'll bring back, but you'll be facing a lot of challenges like immorality in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And, and we anti values like corruption. Absolutely. And bribery and so on and so forth. And we understand that. How to that. change it? Are you willing? You, we are as a willing to change that system. I am not just one person. Corruption, anti values are systematic and systemic mm -hmm. in this country. It's going to take time, but I'm not just one person. There yes. are hundreds of young people yes and we understand that we were brought abroad as a mission yes. so that we could come back and whatever we've learned and we understand that it'll take work yeah but everybody is willing. corrupt here and where should you start what, what will be the starting point well first we have to get into the system and get understand the system. it in order to make a change you have to be the change right? yeah, to be the so change. we yeah, need to right. get in first <laughs> yes understand how it works understand how we can eliminate that uh, yes, there's a lot of bad corruption, but there's a lot of people with good intentions too. Yes. So it's a constant fight, and that's what we're willing Young to do. Young people, instead of being part of the solution, they are part of the problem. And, and it's true, but there are also people... And the youth is like a time bomb. There are also people who are willing to be part of the solution. There's yeah. not only the negatives. Yes, there's corruption, and there's corruption everywhere yes. in the world. Yes. But there are people who are willing and who want to work hard on it. In Congo, corruption is too much. I understand compared that. Compared with other countries, that's the problem. <laughs> yes, and, and that's why, and we know that, and that's yeah. why we live in an era where um, there's no more dictatorship, or it's starting to go away, and we are blessed to be able to grow up in this era. Uh, I never thought I would come here yes. because they were always telling me, oh, there's Kabila or there's wars or there's a president yeah, and, here, there's no and I'm here and there's none of that. And it's not as hard as they make it seem. Once you're back, if everything we'll be talking about, you try to do your best to make yourself understood. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't work, what will happen? Will you get discouraged? I've grown up to believe that anything can happen and yeah. I can do anything I want to. So I don't believe that it won't work. Good. We will make it happen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mindset in Congo yes. is a problem. And I always say that if we don't change our mindset, nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. Nothing right will happen to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't take into consideration time. We don't take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time is uh, running out. Yeah. And uh, the country is moving forward. Here we are turning around the bush. Mm -hmm. We're standing back. Mm -hmm. There is a stagnation in Congo. Mm -hmm. And uh, what should be done? Well, I think, you know, my my view on that is that you just said it. I think the the cancer that we have here that's killing us is corruption. Corruption. And if you look at countries that have dealt with corruption, most of them yeah. started by enforcing the laws. Yes. Because once you start... We have to arrest prison, everybody in the country. Everybody's going to come back to order. Manhunt. We talk about manhunt Not here. just man, manhunt. I think yeah. once you have laws, yeah. implement them. Yeah. You know, because if you don't Regardless implement them, of, uh, you create loopholes and people yeah. think that they can actually do whatever they want to do and yeah. get away with it. Yeah. So as long as we have that, corruption yeah. is still going to be endemic. Yeah. So... President Shekedi, what he needs to do is to make sure that you are corrupt, you're out. Yes. You, you embezzle money, you go to Even his own friend or brother. Even his own brother-in-law. But our strategies are simply shallow, superficial. We are not deep. That's the problem in Congo. What do you we mean? We simply talk, but we are not... Uh, he get to implement I think we say, I think we're saying the same thing. Yes. So what's the point of having Look a Look at my framework? eyes, you'll see that there are things happening there. I won't talk about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. I, I agree with you, but i come back to the legal framework. Yes. Because, you know, I'm going to put uh, say something that's a little bit out, but you're going to understand why, why I'm saying that. Yes. I, I, I don't really agree with people who say good governance, democracy, are things that were actually imported. Yes. Uh, they are not Congolese. Yeah. But do we have our do own we, values, common value denominators in terms of positive things? I think we, we have values. Them. One of them, solidarity. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a great value. Yeah. It's a great value that many societies do not have. Yes. So we have values. So to come back to what I've just said, yeah. let's stop saying you know, sub, uh, such concept came from outside, so we cannot yeah. do it. One example. We import everything, you know. No, but, you know, Mr. Anise, let me give you an example. Yeah. I, I've heard so many times people saying, you know, democracy, we don't have even have the word in Swahili, in Chiluba, in whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But how come that same word is actually found in the name of our country? Yeah. So how can we name our country with a, 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 a concept 
Democratic that is not Republic ours. of the Congo. You know, let's be serious. So that's why I'm saying we have a legal framework. Yes. Let's implement it. Because yes. once we start implementing it, yes. once you start enforcing laws yeah. here, and impunity is yeah. gonna go down. Good. Because impunity is a serious problem here. Yes. Yeah. We're going to conclude the program just, you know. 30 seconds, everybody. Look at that camera. I would like to start with, uh, eh? this is the conclusion. And uh, in, um, you know, I think uh, 30 seconds, uh, the president secretary is watching bluntly right now. What should we tell him about good governance to move the Democratic Republic of Congo forward, you know, uh, once and for all, without further delay? He's uh, looking at today. What should be done? If I'm talking to the president, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say um, yeah. that he has to make sure that yeah. he surround himself with the right people. Good. Regardless of where they're coming from, mm -hmm. he has to make sure that those people are in the same view and vision yes, of what he has. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also make sure that everybody, and I repeat, everybody is under the law. Because if everybody is under the law, then that means no one will try and do what we used to live before. That Good. would be my message. 30 seconds. To sum up. To sum up. Hi, good governance, how to implement good governance. Absolutely. In the if I'm speaking to the president, yes. if you could create opportunities for us, even those who are abroad, maybe create dual citizenship so we could come back home yes. and make a difference and invest in our land, in our country, yeah. because outside we are strangers. Yeah. So we want to come back and help and just make it available to us yeah. so the youth can come with all their energy, their vision, their love for this country. We love Congo wherever yeah, we are. I we see. grew up with our culture. Our our music, <laughs> our food. So we are here to make a difference and Good. we are ready to dedicate years of our life to this and country. And deliver straight Absolutely. Away. Good. So Mukini, in conclusion, you know, the president is watching blindly. Well, now get the message across. Well, um, I mean, I think one of the, the key priority for me that I can communicate is corruption. And I'm happy that it's actually part of his vision. Yeah. But I think he has to make sure that he has a clear plan to actually fight corruption, Good. fight impunity, yeah. but also inclusiveness. Yeah. I mean, women, inclusiveness. women, and women. You know, we have strong women, we have competent women, we have women who are actually passionate about this country and they can actually contribute to development. So I okay. hope that with the new cabinet that's going to be in place, yes. that President Shekedi please surprise us. Good. If you can go up to 30% and that's even, that's a minimum. Good. President Shekedi surprise women. Good. Bloodly, bloodly and bloodly. Everything is under control. Everything is unequivocally under control this program. I'm delighted. Today's bloodly was really messy. Rising. Blood is the only Congolese broadcast where you can find joy, hope, and inspiration for a better future. Blood is doubtless reaching the cruising altitude. All is well, that ends well. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Ginchas. We are in Democratic Republic of Congo. All the best and keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep in touch. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good. Thank you for having me. Good. Keep in touch and get in touch with Blood next time. Good. I'm back. Bluntly. Uh, done on the ground. One is you need to do everything local even if you think globally. It means that you don't have to have a networked strategy. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Is growth be considered as a panacea concerning development? Economic growth in the Congo is on the paper, but it's not the reality. Yes. Yes evidence, especially among students, before they are graduating, you can see... It may be strong, but people are dealing with this. is the problem. Or white people are not doing Bluntly, weave and say your body. From time you remember, you know that he has eaten omelette without bringing eggs. That's why he must polish up economic strategies in order to skyrocket. Do you have any ideas about economic development and welfare? Join us in this program. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly, everything is under control. Keep in touch.